Good day, I'm Renz Ivan and for today's video, we will talk about the Solarian period. Um, first, um, what is the Solarian period? The Solarian period was a time when the Earth underwent considerable changes that had important repercussions for the environment and life, life within it. Uh, one result of these changes was the melting of large glacial formations. The Solarian is a geologic period and system spanning 24.6 million years from the end of the Ordovician period at 443.8 million years ago to the beginning of the Devonian period. 419.2 and the Solarian is the shortest period of the Paleozoic era um, and next what happened in the Solarian period possibly the most remarkable biological event during the Silurian was the evolution and Diverse diversification of fish. Not only does this time period mark the wide and rapid spread of jawless fish, but also the appearance of both the first known freshwater fish and the first fish with jaws. The Solarian is a time when many biologically significant events occurred. In the oceans, there was a widespread radiation of crinoids, a continued proliferation and expansion of the brachiopods and the oldest known fossils of coral reef. As mentioned earlier, this time period also marks the wide and rapid spread of jawless fish along with the important appearance of both the first known freshwater fish and, and the appearance of jawed fish, fish. Um, other marine fossils commonly found throughout the Solarian record includes trilobites, gaptolites, conodonts, and corals, stroma, toporioids, and mollusk. And next, the organism living in the Solarian period. Number one is Theropterus. Theropterus belong to the family Mysopteridae, a group of typically large eurypterids characterized by a superficially scorpion like appearance and highly specialized specialized and enlarged spiny forward facing appendage with a third pair of appendage of the group being particularly enlarged and therapterus can be distinguished from the from other my software genera mainly by the unique arrangement and the relative length of the spines on its third pair of appendage and number two is similodonta similodonta is uh, is an extinct genus of early vibe whale in the extinct family Prainosilidae. The genus is one of the 11 genera in the subfamily Prainosilidae. And Sim Similodonta is known from the Middle Ordovician to Middle Silurian fossils found in the Europe and America. Number three is Holmi. Aquatic anthropods, the type and all 
many species of Falmecterus. So, Plesiosus is known from deposit of Middle Silurian Age in the Sweden. And last number four is Aula Copleura is a genu genus of protein trilobite. Some authors may classify this group as subgenus Otarion. The cephalon is semicircular or semi-elliptical with border and preglavellar field. The glabella is the glabella is short with or without find I I reach connecting it with eyes of variable size it spines at the rear outer outer corners of the cephalon are present typically reaching back to the second to fourth thorax segment and that's all thank you for watching